What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master One and welcome back for some more Fire Mom Heroes and today I'm going to be summoning on a special gift, Valentine's Banner, which does have Duo Elise. So she's definitely going to be my top priority and I hope that I can get like two copies of her because I really want to fodder off her to my Mercedes as per usual. She does have the damage, okay, Mercedes is showing up on the free summon. She's like, okay, I definitely need to have that holy pressure and poetic justice. So Poetic Justice is, you know, as expected, an inheritable skill. I don't know why a lot of people were saying that it is not going to be inheritable, even though it did have the uh, yellow border. So it is just an upgrade of Wrathful Staff 3. It's just that it just has a different name. Kind of similar to how the Rain 4 skills are called the Hold skills. Um, so I'm really going to be hoping that I can get two duo at least. One just for using her and then just one for the fodder for my Mercedes. And I really wouldn't mind getting Takumi or, you know, Leo because they've got alts after such a long time and they're finally good. So I really want to get um, Takumi here for his far save. And I really like Takumi a lot. I also like Leo a lot. His uh, Japanese voice actor, Mamoru Miyano. I'm a huge fan of him. Um, so gonna be hoping to get both of them as well. And Hana is a four-star focus, so... I hope that I can just get her without any kind of trouble. We do have the focus charges on the main account, of course. Uh, so I hope that if I do get the pity breakers, I can at least leverage that off and maybe get the focus units that I want. So let's see how much the focus charges actually affect things. I actually summoned a Yuri, so that is going to be the first pity breaker right there. Plus speed IV, which is not really all that bad, but then minus attack. Um, so that's the first pity breaker and as you can see the focus charge has been lit up for the first light So if I get any more pity breakers, I will be able to guarantee a Focus unit and then I would be able to just get duo at least for sure um, So if I don't really get her then I'm gonna be sparking her and then I'm gonna be trying to get another copy uh, For sure for Mercedes So that is just my plan it's crazy that the leak that we had for this banner was actually true. It did seem kind of true. Okay, that is the second pity breaker. So focus charge already coming into the play. Uh, this is a plus defense minus speed Gunnefer. So got the minus attack IV unit and then the minus speed unit. Uh, all right, so that is another pity breaker. And now just another focus charge and I should be good. So yeah, the leak was actually true. This banner did get leaked a couple of days uh, before. Um... And even, like, like, a lot of people were saying that this is fake because there's no dead father. But if you think about it, <laughs> in Heirs of Fate timeline, there is Leo and Takumi, of course. So, technically, there is. Um, and even last year, there was, in Lucina's timeline, Chrom right there. So if you try hard enough, you can definitely find them. <laughs> so, gonna be trying on the Colorless Stone here. Um... Got another Mercedes. Okay, Mercedes is really hungry for the fodder, it seems. Summoned like two Mercedes already. So I hope that I can get another Petty Breaker <laughs> so that I can just have the focus charge. Uh, be fully charged up and lit up. And then I can just uh, maybe in the next batch get the Colorless Stone. Um, and if I get a 5 star, then that's going to be the focus right there. So if I don't really get Takumi... Um, then I would just like to get a Pity Breaker, honestly. Because Pity Breakers can definitely help at this point. I guess they just use the Friendship Seal to, uh, you know, to change to each other's classes. Like, uh, Leo is a bow unit now. And then Takumi is a mage in this banner. <laughs> Alright, Python showing up. Not the, not the green bow archer I'm looking for. I really wish they would make some other colored archers uh, for Bow Cavaliers because we definitely have a decent amount of Green Bow Cavaliers um, already. So let's begin with the questions that you guys have left. As always, if you want me to answer any kind of question, you could leave them out in the comment section down below with the hashtag question. The hashtag is very important so that I can find your question. And the first question is asking me, which units do you think will appear in Divine Codes 4? I'm hoping for Halloween female Corin, uh, Marita, and and our brave uh, female Violet. So that is definitely going to be a pretty nice question. We are going to be getting Divine Codes for next month. 
So let me know in the comments which units you really want to see in Divine Codes 4. Personally, I would definitely like to see... Um, I would really like to see Brave Chrom for his infantry speed tactic. And I would also really like to see Brave Tiki. Uh, wow, another Mercedes. That's the third one. I would really like to see Brave Tiki as well. They always put like two Brave units. So that's the Brave units I would want out of two Star Legends uh, uh, 6 basically to be in the Divine Codes. And I would also really, really like if they could put... Uh, you know, some more finish fodder, like attack speed finish fodder, basically. Um, so I would definitely really like if they put Halloween female core in, even if it's like the end of the path. Um, that would be pretty nice. And I also would really like um, if they could put, I don't know, like Kadean Lin, uh, not Kadean Lin, Kadean Nino would be pretty nice. Uh, but I really doubt they would do that because their fodder is definitely pretty nice. So 30 summons in and now um, let's see if I can get Hana here. Haven't really got the four star focus of this banner. So next month we're going to be having a big update with the divine codes. So more fodder being accessible is just always good. Um, okay, another Thea. Just got her a few summons back. All right, Please Leo show up. Finally you're good now. It's, it's time to show up. They finally did it. They finally made Leo a good unit. <laughs> In fact, he's actually, honestly like a pretty good unit from this banner. And he's going to show up. Okay. He's going to get flattered and he's going to show up here. Uh, so got my Valentine Leo right there. All right. Plus speed minus HP. He definitely does not need to be plus speed uh, with his speed tier. So got him. Uh, his art is definitely pretty nice. I definitely like his art. So that is Leo, our first focus unit on this banner. I'll also summon on the uh, other green stone. Maybe I'll, I could just get another Leo, but nope, it is going to be Shez. You know, Shez showing up here. All right, so that's one focus unit down. No need to summon on the green stones now. And I just need to focus on trying to get Duo Elise. Uh, <laughs> or maybe get a Pity Breaker and then summon Duo Elise. So... I definitely rolled fast with the Pity Breakers at the start of the session and charged up. Okay, I'm gonna get Hana here. That is pretty good. Um, as the Forster focus. I have already invested into Winter Manuela, so there's no shot I'm investing into her. She's plus speed minus defense. That's a pretty good IV, honestly. I'm just gonna back out. So I don't really need to summon on the Red Stones or the Green Stones anymore. Just missing Takumi and do a lease here so i'm gonna be sniping the stones here um and if i get a pretty breaker that is gonna be working in my favor as i just have one focus charge left and this is gonna be gwendolyn so only one uh, one more summon and then i should be able to just spark do a lease definitely need to get two copies so all right here we go one colorless stone it is going to be Duo Elise. Oh my god, that is amazing. So, I got Duo Elise on the Clutch Summon right before the Spark. Uh, that is fantastic. Minus attack, plus defense. Yeah, I'm definitely foddering her uh, to my Mercedes. This one is definitely going to Mercedes. So, she does have Holy Pressure, which is going to be having prerequisite in Miracle, I think. Um, and then Poetic Justice, so definitely going to be inheriting that as well. So let's hear their, you know, duo conversation since I've got them even before the spark. Oh, don't forget about this one. And the last gift goes to... <sighs> that was the last gift, right? Hmm, I think so. Getting presents for everyone in both our families has been a lot of work. I know. I was worried we'd run out of good ideas by the end. <laughs> it's been fun, though. I love to imagine everyone's happy faces as I pick out each gift. It's so rewarding that... that it almost feels like a gift to myself. <laughs> That's adorable, Sakura. It says a lot about you as a person, too. That generosity is why I like you so much. Oh, no. You don't have to say that. I wasn't fishing for a compliment. <laughs> I know. I mean it, though. You're a great friend. Which reminds me, here. What's this? Did you get a present for me? Yep, just my way of saying thanks for being you. I hope we'll always be friends. 
I know we will. Actually, I was also... I mean... I got you this. Wow, you got me a gift too? Oh, <laughs> great minds really do think alike. Well, I was also thinking about what a great friend you are. You mean a lot to me. I love you, Elise. All right, so that was a pretty sweet conversation, as you would expect, out of the duo Elise and Sakura. Um, so here I did get duo Elise, so now I can spark another copy and pretty much use her. Um, and then fodder of the previous copy which I summoned. So we're gonna be going for her. Um, yep. So I can just summon her. And then I can just, you know, fodder of the other copy to my Mercedes. Mercedes has been showing up quite a lot and I'm gonna be trying for maybe Valentine Takumi uh, so that I could get him, but no blue stones, all right. I'm gonna be trying for another, maybe do at least, I wouldn't mind that. And Narn showing up, she just got her weapon refine, which is decent enough, honestly, I guess. Not the most insane one. Um, and two blue stones is definitely pretty nice. So if I get Pity Breaker, then uh, Focus Charge is gonna be fully active. And then I could just get Takumi as my uh, summon. So the next question is by Big Stonks, and they're asking me if they added a music shuffle for the home screen, specifically to the concert hall, which five songs would you pick in the shuffle list? You can only choose two Engage songs at max. All right, so two songs from Engage at max. So I would definitely pick uh, God Shattering Star. Uh, then I would also pick The Sacrifice and The Saint from Shadows of Valentia. I would also pick Tear Streaked from Engage and also Royal Confidence from Engage. So those are the two uh, <laughs> Engage songs. And then I would also pick Softly from Grace from Fire Emblem 7. So those are going to be in my shuffle list if we could ever have that kind of feature, which is honestly really good. I hope they actually implement that at some point. Um, it definitely took the game a while, like until we had the customizable music. So I hope that they eventually do it. And I'm getting a lot of blue stones here. So I hope that I can just get Takumi here um, from these blue stones. If not a pity breaker, I can just uh, help with the focus charge and just remove any kind of non-focus five-star rate. I got Fila. Uh, she's definitely on the wish list as well. Uh, no plus speed. Okay. I think I did get a plus speed though. Uh, I'll have to check. So yeah, just trying to get Takumi the last focus unit from this banner. It's pretty amazing that I did get two Sakuras. Uh, not two Sakuras, two duo at least. Sakura is in the back. And I'm consistently getting the blue stones, which is always really good. Um, I just hope that I can get maybe Miriel as the fodder. Um, if I'm gonna be getting like four star units. All right, let's back out. And I'm gonna be trying for Takumi. Uh, with the remaining orbs actually because I definitely want to summon uh, Takumi here It's finally good. I mean Summer Takumi could be good with the arcane bow Whenever that comes out and honestly, I'm gonna be waiting for the arcane staff whenever it comes out because that is gonna be really helpful on my Mercedes because while holy pressure is good It's not really uh, that good of a special for healers because it's kind of awkward with that uh, three cooldowns. So Duo Elise is basically the best user of that special. And I'm gonna get Valentine Takumi right there. So those are all of the focus units uh, from the Valentine's banner. Um, so no pity breaker. Focus charge didn't really need to be fully charged. And here he is with plus attack minus HP. So ending on a plus attack unit, which is absolutely amazing. Now I do have a couple of free summons, which I still need to do honestly. Um, so I think I'll definitely proceed to do that. I also need to do the Hero Fest. Um, so from the Hero Fest, I think I'm gonna be aiming for maybe the Redstones. I do have all of the 15 tickets. I don't think I'm gonna be spending any kind of orbs though. Um, I guess I could try for the Blue Stone, maybe for Ascended Edun. I'm gonna get Sully, alright. So 15 tickets are quite a lot and I hope that I can have a decent amount of luck. If not, then I just would want to save that luck for maybe the <laughs> free-to-play account. And then I would be able to maybe get the unit I actually want out of the Hero Fest. Which is gonna be e tree on the free-to-play account, actually. Alright, so I'm gonna summon on the Redstones. Just hoping for Ascended Marita because Vital Astra is gonna be pretty good. 
And I definitely have quite a bit of, you know, merch products, but do need Vital Astra on the main account. So getting more copies of her is always going to be good. But I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't really get anyone from my tickets because that has happened to me before as well. So <laughs> I'm not the most optimistic when it comes to that. I mean, this, the banner does have the spark, but I'm not going to be going all the way to the spark right there. Got another Athena. All right. Let's back out. The next question is asking me, Hey PM, you have been my favorite YouTuber for a while now. The summoning sessions helped me avoid buying orbs and live vicariously through the videos. And your arena videos have been on point lately. My question is, who is your favorite dagger unit in the mainline game? I, I replayed FE6 and Conquest. Okay, I'm gonna get Fallen Gustav while answering the question. Uh, definitely have gotten a few of Fallen Gustav so far. So, uh, they're saying I replayed FE6 and Conquest and waiting for Engage to come out and dumped my upgrade items into a Dad's Tongue store and Flame Shuriken Nuke Felicia, respectively. Then when Engage did come out, Yunaka exceeded my expectations by filling both roles. Keep up the great content. Thank you so much for your question and your kind words. I really appreciate it. And uh, my favorite dagger unit, I suppose, is gonna be, I mean, probably from like the Fey dagger units that we have. And if you go back to the mainline games, probably Jafar, honestly, from FE7. Um, and then probably Yunaka. I actually really like her from Engage as well. So yeah, we definitely <laughs> share the interest of Yunaka being one of the favorite dagger units. Um, and Yunaka is honestly such a likable character. Her introduction is on point, her supports are amazing. Like a lot of the interactions that you have with her are just amazing, honestly. So I really like that. And I also really like her crit codes. So while I was making the crit code video, uh, I honestly was surprised how she goes uh, kind of the serious mode for her crit codes, basically. So definitely like her quite a bit. Her voice acting is also amazing. So I did get one five star unit out of the ticket. And now, um, let's see if I can get any more out of the ones which are remaining. I'm gonna get Levitain here as the 4-star special rate unit, alright? we They have added, you know, new units into the 4-star special rate. So, hope I can also get that. Plus, attack Levitain is perfect here. Kinda wish that she got a better weapon refine, honestly. Five tickets to go. Um, and so far, there, there have been like two free summons that have been 5-star units. Gonna go for the greenstone yet again. Um, as I did get Fallen Gusta from there. Which was pretty nice. This fodder is really good, so I never really mind getting units like those. Um, I'm gonna go for the blue stone yet again here. Okay, summoning Benny. Just part of that voting gauntlet recently, which Marianne did win. Um, I was team Marianne from the start. I'm really happy that Marianne did win out that uh, voting gauntlet. Alright, Ogma showing up so that he can die to Peeny's offensive weapon refine. <laughs> because that's pretty much who she's killing with those offensive stats and that kind of offensive weapon refine. It's really weird how they <laughs> keep giving these dancers offensive refines. I mean, it's gonna work for like Triandra and Plumeria if they decide to do that, but. I think they probably might not do that for them then. <laughs> Maybe give them the supportive weapon refines to throw a curveball. So those were all of the ticket summons and then I have the Hatari summon here. Um, gonna be going for the redstone here for maybe Nyla. I really like Nyla as well so if I could get her that would be pretty good. But nope, it is gonna be Sylvia. And so far the summons have been pretty amazing on the, on the main account honestly. On this banner, I could just try and get Secret. He's pretty highly merged on this account, honestly. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's pretty highly merged because I just got so many copies of him um, for no reason. Right here, I would definitely like to get Edelgard, but no green stone. Uh, that's a bit annoying. And no blue stones either for Petra. Petra could honestly be in the Hall of Forms of three houses. I think she has a decent chance. Um, and then the Tempest Trial banner. I would definitely like to get uh, the redstone here. Yep, exactly. Perfect. No Leo though. I'm gonna get Marth. Um, I think there are only few like summons left here. Um, 
Yeah, there's this free summon left. I think I'll just summon um, Halloween female Korra in here for her finish kill so that I could fodder her off. So I'm just gonna summon her. <laughs> I still like the twirl that she does. And now time for the free seasonal summon. Um, would be kind of funny. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say if I summoned female Corin <laughs> from there as well. But redstone, I'll definitely try to go for that. The unit strength in red is definitely pretty good. I hope that it's not a demote. Uh, I hope it's not like Red Cecilia or something like that. It is Summer Leon. It is gonna be a demote. <laughs> okay, not the best summon. Minus attack as well, just to put the salt on the wound. So those are the main account summons, and now let's move on to the free-to-play account and see what's up with the luck on there. On the free-to-play account, I also have all of the tickets for the Hero Fest, and I'm gonna be hoping for maybe e -tree. I wouldn't mind getting more merges for her. So definitely, I'm gonna be trying to aim for the green stones. Um, and if I can get some off-focus unit you know, like Renak or something like that, that would be perfect uh, for his fodder. Green in general does have some pretty nice off-focus summons. So wouldn't mind getting uh, some off focus units either. And e -tree is definitely going to be the main priority here. If I can get her. So I hope the luck actually continues on the free to play account as well. Um, not going to be sparking here. I'm just saving the orbs now for the Peony Remix banner whenever that happens uh, this month. So I'm going to be sparking for Peony then. And just going to be aiming to get summons for her. Three green stones, wow. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one at the five o'clock. And I'm just gonna get Frederick, all right? At least he gives Luna, which is decent. Still double digit tickets left. Um, I would like to get maybe one Trilla I don't really have her on this account, so. Oh, wow, I'm gonna get uh, Brave Female Violet, which I didn't have on this account. Uh, that is amazing, wow. That's, uh, that's a really good off-focus summon. So got her, please be plus speed IV or plus attack, plus defense minus HP, okay I'll take it. At least it's not minus attack, uh, so that's <laughs> that's decent. So the ticket's definitely being fruitful on the free to play account and rendering in some good luck. With a 5 star unit, so that is pretty good. The next question is asking me, will you do a playthrough of you playing through Fire Emblem Engage? Uh, yeah. I'd Definitely have got a lot of questions asked about that, so I'm just playing Engage at my own pace, but I'll be doing the maddening playthrough of it um, at the end of this month for sure. And I do want to make a playthrough of it for sure. I really like the game, honestly. I'm like almost like 150 hours into that game, but I want to play the game on maddening mode as well, uh, because honestly the game does seem pretty balanced. It is well play tested in my opinion. Um, so even on the hardest difficulty, I don't think it's going to be too annoying. Of course, Maddening does have its own challenges, but I think it is going to be pretty nice on a playthrough. Uh, so yeah, I definitely plan on doing a playthrough, but not right now, after maybe a couple of weeks. So I'm going to be going for the Cutterless Stone, maybe trying to get Winter Lysithia. Um, because I don't really have her, I never really sparked for her or on her Winter Banner. So far I did get a pretty good unit here from the off focus summon i'm gonna go for the 12 o'clock again i was hoping for maybe another five star but i'm gonna get rebecca who still hasn't got her bowstring fixed like what is this that is not a fusion yumi six tickets left for the hero fest and still haven't got any kind of v tree um okay arthur that is another insane uh <laughs> off focus summon because um I definitely like the Walter Tom that he has got, and he also has the Mana skill and the Ideal skill, which you could fodder him for. So he does have pretty amazing fodder, which I think I'm going to be using him for. Uh, so that's a pretty nice off-focus summon as well, a unit I didn't really have before. Um, and like I said, the green off-focus units are actually not that bad uh, for their fodder or just for their usage. All right, I still haven't gone a single like focus unit out of the Hero Fest banner out of all of the tickets. Almost like uh, almost like 32 free summons here, um, and haven't really got a single focus unit. Gonna go for the Colorless Stone yet again. Wouldn't mind getting Merlinus, but I keep getting Riz. Riz, you're not getting Holy Pressure or anything like that. Just 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 stop showing up. Let Merlinus show up. For the Wings of Mercy. 
Um, got racing. That was definitely a pretty big silhouette. Yeah, that couldn't have been e tree <laughs> with that big silhouette. And the final Hero Fest free summon. So let's see if I can summon. Nope, it is going to be racing yet again in a row. All right. Um, now I will try on the Plagian banner, maybe hope for Carla. So I'm going to summon on the blue stone and hope for the best. Nope, it's going to be Jagan. I wonder if they will make uh, Vander into a 3-star, 4-star unit because he's a Jagan archetype. Uh, on this banner, I would definitely do not... Actually, I wouldn't mind getting maybe Plagian Raphael, so I would definitely try and go for that. I already have uh, Plagian Dorothea on this account. She was definitely one of my first duo slash harmonic units. Um, here, I would definitely like to get Kinshinoka. She's a decent merges on this account. But nope, that is going to be Forest. But we are in Fates land, so I hope that my free summon on the Valentine banner goes well. Um, I would definitely like to get Petra because I fought her a long time ago for Crown Orders. Uh, so getting her would have been nice, but it is going to be Tail 2. Okay, and then... Right, I would like to get Leo. Um, <laughs> even on this account from the Redstones. Selena's nice though. Alright, only a few more free summons left. Also, an update on this banner, I never got for Mortis or Arvel. I just ended up getting Goto, uh, the least priority <laughs> colorless unit that I wanted, honestly. But yeah, honestly, I'm just going to be hoping that for Mortis can just show up on the Hero Rises banner. And from there, I can, you know, just summon him. So now I'm going to be summoning on the Fates banner. And I'm going to be hoping for maybe um, do at least on the 12 o'clock. So if I could get her, that would be amazing, but I'm gonna get Sarah. I actually have her at plus and merge on this account. <laughs> um, and now time for the seasonal summon. Please show me some blue stones. Please. Never mind. So now I try and go for the redstone and pray that I do not get another demote. Uh, definitely I'm not gonna be going for the colorless stone. My plan was to go for the blue stone, uh, but I didn't get any. And I'm gonna be hoping that it's not a demote, no Summer Leon, no Bright Cecilia, uh, nothing like that, please. And it is gonna be Winter Dorothea, which is absolutely amazing. She does have infantry uh, speed tactic, which is really good. And she is gonna be minus attack, alright. Lines up well, par for the course. Uh, she does have infantry speed tactic, which is definitely pretty nice. I could fodder her uh, for that, if I would want to give that skill to any of my dancers, but yeah, this is definitely a pretty good summon. Um, as long as it's not a demote, I'm happy. <laughs> and it, it was definitely not a demote, so that's a pretty good summon in my book. Um, so those were all of the summons from free-to-play account as well as the main account. Main account definitely had a pretty nice luck, was able to get all of the focus units uh, from the Fates banner, which is definitely pretty good. Didn't have to go all the way to the focus charge. Uh, so let me know in the comments how your summons went in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and a comment, helps me tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using super thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more fave videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I wish Deep Sub Boxes would show my videos as many times as I got Mercedes in this summoning session. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.